playing. <laughs> that, that's more like my style. Though. I love that. See, that's what I have to do all the time. Yeah. It's a different way. I'm running my butt off, trying to do a gig, and then run to another gig. And I see you moving around town. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Comedy Night Pink for sure. How y'all doing? Mike Black. Hey, hey. All right. Oh, I recognize you. <laughs> well, put you in my song because it's going to be the same jokes as last week. <laughs> no, no, I'm one of the few locals you get to see uh, doing your travels here in Hilton Head. Am I right? Uh, let's do a test. How many locals are here tonight? Clap your hands. I told you. It's eight of us. We don't deal with this time of year too well. We are really selfish about our city, I'll tell you that much. So good, good. Well, since we got so many travelers with us, I mean, the, the only rightful question to ask next is, how was the bike ride? <laughs> you know you did it. You know you did it. Some of you can't even stay awake right now. You're tired as hell from that damn bike ride. Isn't it? Oh my goodness, what is up with the bike ride in Hilton Head? Is that... Did, you, did somebody pump that into Ohio? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, like, yes. Uh, did, did somebody tell you guys that you had to run a bike? This one, you gotta see the dolphins, you gotta watch the flowers, you gotta run a bike. Did somebody tell you guys that? I mean, good lord. I mean, when you come to town and you're like, all right, honey, weatherman says it's 95 degrees today, 110 index for the heat. 60% chance of torrential downpour in the middle of your damn day. What do you want to do? I think we should get bikes. <laughs> it's always our decision, isn't it? Yeah. I tell you, I've never seen this anywhere else, any vacation spot. I know you guys travel a lot. Have you ever been to Orlando and seen people going up and down International Drive with bikes? Hell no, they got better shit to do. <laughs> Vegas? Vegas, have you ever been in Vegas up and down the strip? That's enough casinos and shows and legalized prostitution to run a bike? <laughs> Hell no, they got better shit to do, right? I think we should just uh, go ahead and label that as our motto here at Hilton Head, right? Folks, what do you think? Welcome to Hilton Head. Eat, drink, and ride a bike. Because we ain't got shit else for you to do. It's <laughs> true. No, seriously. I tell you, I, I love watching a couple of ride bikes together on that same bike. Anybody do that today? No. Smart group. Very smart group. I love watching that shit, man. The guys up front just puffing and pedaling. Women's in the back of the pedal just spinning. <laughs> Texting. It's probably conversating with a friend on a better vacation. With better shit to do. <laughs> No, I tell you, I tell you two people I know for a fact are not in agreement to this old bike riding thing. That's the babies and the dads. They don't agree with this shit at all. I'm telling you, now, when I say babies, I don't mean babies that have no clue what the hell is going on. Too young to know. I'm talking about the babies that are too young to have their own bike, but just old enough to know this is some bullshit. <laughs> all right? Baby got the worst seat in the house, don't he? He's right on the back of dad's sweaty bagged ass. Just dangling off the side like nah, I think that was I think that was a boat. I don't know. Dad stinks. <laughs> and he's just sitting there and then mom makes that noise. Look at everyone, it's the lighthouse. Baby just flicking all over the place. Don't see shit Brain dad's back here all down there. 
and dance. Man, you know y'all didn't want to ride the plane, did you? I mean, it's hard enough to get a man to come down all the way out of his own home, take this trip, he drove the whole way. No, you did. No help at all. And you drove all the way down, unloaded the car, loaded the car, everything. Oh, and now we gotta ride bikes with the family. Great. Another 30 to 45 minutes with the family. Going down our pristine beaches against the wind. It's perfect, just perfect. Yeah, and all Dad wants to do is just put some dark prescription sunglasses on, right? Go out to the pool and just stare at women. He has no chance of getting in hell, right? <laughs> and hoping he don't get caught either, right? I mean, think about the bikes, too. I think about the bikes. I'll sit there and watch these people on the bike. They do not ride the bike that often, do they? I mean, most of the time you ride the bikes out here, you're stopping and going. Every time I see I see him like this. Just sitting on the curb. Just waiting, okay, and then he's trying to get back on the bike, and then... Now he missed the light, and he got to back up. One lady just got so fed up, I saw it. She did a four-way turn on that thing, without pedaling once. No, we got a little bikes. But, you know, I know we always talk about dad and his decision. Dad don't get any decisions on vacation, do you? He know he does. Man? They scared to tell it right now. <laughs> Jesus. No, I work in hotels here on the island, so I see it all the time. I can tell you get no decisions whatsoever. Sorry, man. You gotta call it out. You know, we even play a little game of it at the front desk. We call it balls, no balls. It's easy to spot. It's a quick game. It's not hard for us to do. Can't speak for yourself? No balls. Can't hold your own wallet? No balls. <laughs> I seen a guy come in, he checked in with right up front. Yeah, his name's, last name's John, so we check it in. Okay, how would you like to put it? Yeah, it took his wallet and did like this. Look back at his wife. And she was in. I said, we all just went and looked at each other. No balls. Okay, so we have you come check it in. Uh, <laughs> Check it out tomorrow, because I don't think this vacation is going to last you. Now, reservations in your name, but you have no clue what the hell this is. One ball. I'll say that's one ball. You can get one ball for that one. Because what this says is that you got a good woman, and she respects the fact that you are the man of the relationship, but she does not want to take any chances of you screwing this damn vacation up. <laughs> Am I right, man? We will jack this thing up, won't we? To all the bits. No, I love, I love watching the couples check in. Oh my goodness gracious. Love it. They are never on the same page, but man, you got to get on that page, don't you? Oh my goodness. I love watching the men go, the, the couple go to the room, guest rooms, and they, she don't like that room. Oh boy. We get that phone call. And he goes down to the front desk, yeah, I don't think this is the room that we booked online. Uh, and I think we got an ocean, ocean view, right? And we don't believe in paying for something that we We don't believe in paying for something that we don't agree with. I said, well, sir, we don't have any more rooms. You don't have any more rooms? That's that, that's that boo shit. You got plenty of rooms. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna come down there and talk to you personally, sir. I'm coming down right now. Deep voice when they come down. Just the way they get on the phone, right? They come down off the elevator. Oh man, please help me. You gotta help me, bro. Man. Love the couples. Love the couples. Example. And it's, uh, two couples check in one time, right? Two couples check in. We were out of rooms. We only had one room left. Now, it happens sometimes. And we had one room left. It was a suite. Suite has a king bed and a sleeper sofa. And I gave them an option. I said, you can, I got this 1,300 square foot condo set aside for you guys. We knew this was gonna happen. Two bedrooms, two baths, full kitchen, we even put some drinks and stuff in, in the place. Said, we knew it was going to happen. We got that for you. It's just not right here on property. 
and we'll shuttle you and we'll take you wherever you need to go. Or we have a suite right here on property. It's one bed, sleeper sofa, one bathroom. I mean, it's up to you. And the man put their foot down right away. Nope, we stand here. I love this condo. This is what we're going to have. We have spoken. And the women looked at each other and said, okay, that's fine. We can stay here. But I'm telling you one thing, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> the men looked at each other, and they knew they had to make a very good decision. They shared that bed for two days. <laughs> two days. No balls. <laughs> All right, I think we made a few people laugh in here today, huh? I've been trying this story all week. It was terrible. It was great, great. Well, I think you guys can be ready for a real comedian tonight, right? Because I got to go back to work. I don't work here. All right, but, uh, but no, I'm serious. You guys, you guys got a great show tonight. I want you to make sure you make some loud noises. Uh, good loud noises. I don't know what, how many of you have started drinking yet. But make some good loud noises and welcome them up. My name is Black Mike. Enjoy your time. All right. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, for a black mic. Black mic. Ah, cool. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate this dumb silence where you're all are going, oh shit, that's the guy that said this. This is going to suck. <laughs> Damn, another hill dead tourist trap. Shit. I've got a good one for you. Ah, it's okay, we've done this before. And what's really funny is that all the people that go, oh, I want to set a bunch of levels pick on you. Well, I want to pick on you, I know where you're at. So maybe you can sneak that in. Oh, yeah, look at that front row first, see if can take it. Ah, we're here to have fun, not make fun, right? Yeah. All right, cool. If I lighten up, we're not going to pick on you. I do ask the people with your arms crossed, let it go. I'm not selling you fights here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was, how many people, this is your first time here to the comedy show? If you have a half a minute,